Good morning. Good morning. May I have your attention, attention please? please? Now, please, please have, have your attention, attention for a few administrative announcements prior to the ceremony starting. I am requesting that we as a collective group come together and appreciate the accomplishments of our graduates who will participate in this commencement exercise this morning. I am also requesting your assistance throughout our time together and to present respect for all of our graduates by not making excessive noise during the presentation of diplomas as well as throughout the dignified, very memorable ceremony. I ask that you please check your cell phones at this time and be sure that they are turned to vibrate. Even if, if you believe you placed, placed them on silent already, I'm going, I'm going to ask for you to check in. in. I'm, I'm doing, doing the same, same thing right now. Please, Please note, note that, that no one is allowed on the field except for staff and graduates. We have, we have professional photographers who will make, make sure that a picture, picture is taken when, when the graduate receives his or her, her diploma. diploma. And, and finally, in just, just a few minutes, minutes please, please remember, remember to stand when, when the graduates enter the stadium. You will you know that signal when, when the College County, County High School band, band, band the blue, under the direction of Mr. Tom Finnegan, when they, they began to play that great, great march, pump, and circumstance. If, if anyone, anyone is in need of medical, medical assistance during, during the ceremony, Please signal, Please signal a, a member, member of our staff who are, who are in yellow, yellow vests vest located throughout the stadium. The stadium. Thank, Thank you. you.
Mrs. Mrs. Williams, Williams Chairperson, Chairperson Simmons, Simmons, Board, Board of, of Trustees of Collins County, County School, School District, teachers, staff, honor guests, friends, family, and, and especially all parents. As, As principal, principal of Collins County, County High School, School I would like, like to welcome you to the Collins County, County High School's 2023 commencement ceremony. Let's, Let's give it up, up for all of our graduates today. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen we, we will now have, have the presentation of the colors and, and the national anthem. anthem. Please, please place, place your right, right hand over your heart. heart. And, and gentlemen, gentlemen, we ask that you please remove, remove your cast. Your cast. Let's, Let's thank, thank our, our members, members of our NJROTC program. program. Excellent, Excellent job. job. We, will we will now have, have the recognition of our, our memorial honorees. These, These are students who unfortunately passed away before being able to celebrate, celebrate this graduation, graduation ceremony. I invite Mrs. Mrs. Kathy Schaller to the podium at this time. time. To the, to the established, established protocol, protocol and, and to, to the class of 2023. We are here today to celebrate you and also to celebrate those who are no longer with you. We ask all of us who are here today to remember Matthew Thornton and Delaney Ford. And as you remember, it, it is written, written. We, we are confident, confident I, say, I say, and, and willing, willing rather, rather to be absent from the body and, and to be present with the Lord. Lord. When, when you think, think of these students, remember, remember that, that they, they are with, with the Lord. Lord. We have lit a candle today, today at this, this ceremony, ceremony in memory of 
Matthew Thornton and Delane Ford. We will now have our invocation, invocation presented to us today by the third honor graduate of the class of 2023, Miss Adriana Mari. Good, Good morning. morning. It, it is, is my pleasure, pleasure to now introduce our, our distinguished guests with, with us today. Please stand as I call your name. name. With, with us are our Collington County, County School District Board of Trustees, Trustees Mrs. Mrs. Patricia Simmons, Mr. Mr. Charles Murdoch, Mrs. Mrs. Mary Jones, Jones in her absence, absence. Mrs. Mrs. Sharon, Sharon Whitkin, Whitkin. Mrs. Lynn Strobel, Mr. Darrell Irwin, and Mr. Craig Steiner in his absence. Assistant Superintendent of Learning and Support Services, Dr. Sharon Baddick. Director of Student Support Services, Dr. Career Jenkins. Director of Federal Programs, Dr. Vanessa Reed. MTSS coordinator, Dr. Dan Daniels, principal of Bell Elementary School, Ms. Angel Parker, coordinator of Colleton Academy for Success, Ms. Eureka Bodison, Colleton County High School Senior Advisors, Director of School Counseling, Ms. Kathy Scheider, and, and most, most notably, notably, assistant, assistant principal, principal and lead coordinator, coordinator for the graduation, graduation ceremony, Ms. Keisha williams Powell. Let's, Let's give all of our distinguished guests, guests a round of applause. Please, Please be seated. seated. We will now have, have a musical, musical selection, selection performed by the College County, County High School, School Chorus under, under the direction of Ms. Stephanie Brody.
Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen let's, let's acknowledge the students of the College of County, County High School, School for program, program, but, but in, in addition, addition to recognize them that the just select. I would definitely like to take this opportunity to recognize Mrs. Stephanie Brody, who after 39 years of professional educational services will be retiring this year. Excellent accomplishment, Mrs. Brody. We salute you. At this time, I would, I would like, like to recognize our graduates, our graduates who have enlisted to serve our country, country through military service. These young people have taken the step to serve and defend our civil liberties from threats both foreign and domestic. When our students who are entering a branch of the United States of America's armed forces, please stand at this time. Considering what, what they are about, about to enlist in, I believe we can give them more encouragement than that. that. Thank, Thank you. you. At this time, we will have the introduction of our 2023 salutatorian, given by our assistant superintendent of learning and support services, Dr. Sharon. Good morning, Good morning, everyone. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Mr. Cannon. Cannon. The term salutatorian distinguishes the individual who has maintained the second highest overall grade point average over a four-year high school career. The 2023 salutatorian is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ryan and Amy Bunton. She was born and raised right here in Pelton County, attending all local schools. She is a member of the National Honor Society and played the varsity volleyball team. She has also received multiple awards such as Honor Roll, Golden Paw, Academic Letter. She has a deep faith and wants to further her relationship with the Lord. She has earned the following scholarships and awards. The South Carolina Life Scholarship, the University of South Carolina Dean Scholars Award, the Clemson University Freshman Award, the John D. Hollingsworth Scholarship from Furman University, the College of Charleston National Merit Scholarship, the Winthrop University Premier Scholarship, the North Greenville University Founder Scholarship, the Anderson University Founder Scholarship, the Jerry C. Hunter Jr. Scholarship, and the George Treasure Grant, both from Charleston Southern University. She has accumulated an impressive 5.323A grade point average as calculated at the end of the third nine-week grading period on the South Carolina Uniform Grading Scale. She plans on attending Charleston Southern University in the fall to major in pre-professional biology and pursue a career in the medical field. As she, As she comes, comes forward, please join me in congratulating Colleton County High School's 2023 salutatorian, Ms. Hannah Grace Bunton.
over the past 13 years and reminisce on the memories we have made. As I sat down to write this speech, a flow of memories came rushing to mind, along with the pride and reality that I would soon walk the halls of Collin County High School for the last time. Thank you, Hannah. I would now like to introduce to Collins County High School, Doug Collins County High School, Senior Class President, Ms. Casey Crosby. Casey will be presenting the Class of 2023's Class Gift.
Thank you, Casey, and the class of 2023 for the fine gift. At this time, we will have the introduction of our 2023 valedictorian, given by our acting superintendent and assistant superintendent, acting superintendent with a focus in the area of curriculum and instruction department, Mrs. Jessica Williams. Good morning, Good morning to, to everyone, everyone on this beautiful Saturday morning. Before I introduce our valedictorian, I would like to say congratulations again to the Collington County High School class of 2023. We salute you. You have made remarkable accomplishments this year. You have overcome obstacles, and you are now ready to soar to higher heights, climb majestic mountains, and, and show, show the world that you are ready, ready to, to do great, great things. things. And, and I, I want, want to say, say God, God bless you to all. The, the term valedictorian distinguishes the individual who has maintained the highest overall grade point average over a four-year high school career. The 2023 valedictorian is the son of a visitor in all local schools. He, he is, is the president of the National Honor Society and, and a member of the Student Council who enjoys reading and, and gaining wisdom to become the best version of himself. He, he has, has received multiple awards, awards such, such as the Honor Roll, Golden Paw, and an Academic Letter. He, he has earned the following awards and scholarships. The University of South Carolina at Tallahassee, President List for maintaining a 4.0 GPA at the collegiate level, the College Board National Hispanic Recognition Program Award, the College Board National Rural and Small Town Recognition Award, the Walterboro Chamber of Commerce Award for National Hispanic Recognition and Small Town Awards, he is the first student in the history of Walterboro to receive these awards. He is the recipient of the SCADA Region Scholarship, the University of South Carolina Provost Scholar Award, the University of South Carolina Valedictorian Scholarship, the Palmetto Fellow Scholarship, the University of South Carolina STEM Enhancement Grant, and the South Carolina Tuition Grant. This, this young, young man has, has a cumulative GPA of 5.318 and, and plan to attend the University of South Carolina in Columbia to major in neuroscience and pursue a career in medicine. As he comes forward, please join me in congratulating this exceptional young man. The 2023 valedictorian for Collington County High School, Mr. Yair Cadillo.
Good morning, morning class of 2023. Welcome again, welcome again all who have gathered today for this graduation, graduation, graduation ceremony. ceremony. First and foremost, I want to thank, thank and give credit to our beloved Heavenly, Heavenly Father, who has always been with me, the one, one true God who sent His only begotten, begotten Son to be a sacrifice for all our sins. sins. I attribute all the success to Him and His hand. As He is my Creator and Guide, I would like, like to express my gratitude to the faculty, staff, and administrators for their contributions contributions to our high school, school experience. They have, they have always tried their best to provide the best environment for us students to showcase their talents and reach new horizons. I would like to give a special thank to Ms. Mushrush for being an amazing, amazing educator and help to us all. She has always organized all the events for us that have been lasting memories for us. For for unfortunately, this, this person is not here, but to Mr. Pearson for being, being the best, best teacher I've ever had. For his, his style of teaching, teaching was the best I ever experienced. experienced. And, and last, last for the best, Ms. Brawley for being the, the best, best teacher with the best adaptive, adaptive teacher style and just being amazing, amazing and making class, class super fun. fun. I would, I would like to thank, thank also the staff and students who organized our pep rallies and all school events for creating memories for all of us, all of us to look back on. And a, and a special, special thing to each member of who are in the crowd of families for your support, sacrifice, and, and dedication, dedication that has been, been instrumental to our journey. We want, we want to express our gratitude, especially to the parents and guardians who have invested in our education, both financially and emotionally. We thank you and we love you. I would also, also like to thank, thank my friends, friends and family who have always supported, supported me. To my, to my mother and father, father, thank you for all the love and support you have given me. I stand here as a promise to my father five, five years ago that I would become the valedictorian. Los quiero mucho. Gracias. I told, I told you I would do it. As a 23,000-foreign, I stand before you today reflecting on our journey to this moment. High school is definitely a challenge and a life-changing experience for many. Some would say it was difficult, others would look back at the number of sacrifices we made. Personally, as a child of immigrants, I can say that I appreciate every sacrifice that they made to make my high school experience the easiest it could be. Stand before you, this title and this whole moment is for my parents, this is a concept I attribute to you. Some para ustedes este acontecimiento. Y si todo esto por ustedes. Sometimes pride gets in the way of blindness to how different we all are. Each one of us has different struggles in the past. We all achieve different types of success, but understand we are proud of you no matter what. You made it this far, even those who would bully me or didn't like me. Just, just know I'm proud of you. I know, I know how hard it's been. Through these, these last four years, many, many of our lives were completely turned, turned upside, upside down. down. But look, look at us now. We made, made it. As, As we celebrate this milestone, we, we, must, we must remember that there's, there's still more to be done. done. Relish, Relish in the moment while you can, can because this is only the beginning of our journey. The beauty of living in this traditional moment is that none of it matters. What you, what you did, did yesterday doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. What, what you, you do today doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Because, because tomorrow still awaits you. These, These medals, medals, this ribbon, all of it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Today, today should be celebrated in its own right. right. However, However, tomorrow is where the, the real excitement starts. starts. For today, today we have not truly achieved, achieved our goals or reached the, the end of the road. road. We, have we have only achieved the bare minimum of graduating high school. To do not get too excited. For many, many people have been the end of the road, but why, why stop here, when you, when you can go, go much further? I implore you today, not to set up for just being average or normal, normal, but rather, but rather to, look to look for excellence and reach, reach your full potential. Don't, Don't bark at, at obstacles, but embrace adversity with the confidence that you can overcome it all. For life, life without struggles is the life, life of fools. Without defeating adversity, you will never, never learn. learn. Often, Often we complain in life and use that as excuse to justify our shortcomings. Instead, Instead, you must think to yourself, what can, what can I learn from this? I hope at the next crossroads in life, you choose to grow, not complain. 
I believe that we should each and every one of you lies in Pebble Town waiting to be unleashed. Despite the circumstances that surround us, we're all possessed the power to achieve, rise above our limitations, and achieve greatness. You know you can do more, and you know you can be more. You don't know how far you have fallen until you see how long it takes to climb back up. Deep down, we know our potential. I'm here to remind you that you can get there. You just, you just have to be willing to sacrifice the habits, things, and situations standing in the way of success. You can't, you can't wait for everything in your life to be perfect before you truly start living. You will always have responsibilities and stress in life, and you can't wait for them to be gone to search for purpose and happiness. You have to decide now that happiness is something you want. Happiness isn't the byproduct of an achievement or material object, but rather a mental state. I also encourage you not to neglect valuable relationships over accomplishments. For that, that is a mistake, mistake that I regret and that I made. When I think the past four years, and it's an honor for still not coming to speak in front of my peers, I am reminded that I isolate myself from others for the purpose of achieving this goal. But the reward didn't change me. I started the journey alone, and unfortunately I finished it alone. So truly, what did I gain? In my opinion, nothing of real significance or importance when they celebrate it alone. So please keep your relationships close, the most, the most beautiful thing, thing to have in this world is the connection with our purpose. We must, we must always help others as well as to keep the ultimate purpose of life to live a life, life in service of others. Think less, less of yourself, your pride, your accolades, and more of others. I we stand, stand together today, anxious, sad, or even happy about graduating. Remember, remember that this is a moment that will soon, soon pass. This, this moment will soon become my memory. And like, like all memories do, they just all fade away. The real question is, we allow this moment to come If your dream makes sense to you, then it shouldn't matter what anybody else thinks. Because we all walk a different path of life. But you are only responsible for yours. Don't let the opinions of others dictate your every action. Because if you do, you lose who you are. Life might be daunting, but we focus on creating our future selves. If a person who knows where they are going will always know the reason to get them who doesn't. If you don't have a destination, how do you know when you have arrived? How do you know how to, how to get there if you don't know where you are going? Sit down, down and figure it out. Before, before, before beginning each day, you must, you must ask yourself, how would you, you like to feel at, at the end? For if, if, if you do this, you will no longer, longer have the fear of inadequacy, but the fear of, fear of how great you will become. Give you your everything to who you want to become, never, never live in regret, because you only have one chance of life. But never, never feel rushed as we all walk different paths and different struggles. Master patience as it will keep you afloat on the crash of river life will all ride. And once you have reached your goal, don't feel the need to show it off. For you shouldn't climb mountains for the world to see you, but for you to see the world. All of this wisdom was given to me from the one above, that is God. As we navigate through life, we are called to advance God's kingdom and point others towards Jesus Christ and the love we've shown. There is no better way to embark in a new chapter of our lives than with Him by your side. His loving, loving guidance will sustain you through every endeavor. For all wisdom begin with the fear of God, as told in the, by, by King Solomon in the book of Proverbs. Whoever, whoever loves discipline, loves knowledge. knowledge. But whoever, whoever hates correction, correction is stupid. The way, the way of fools will seem right to them, but the wise will listen to advice. So what, what will you do? Keep being a fool and reject advice, or be wise and listen? As long as you put God first, everything will follow. Thank you all. Thank you to all of you being a part of my journey, even though it's hard not time. For kindness costs nothing. Thank, thank you for your unkindness, kindness made you a better person. person. Just, Just like, like my creator, creator, I love, love you all and want the best for you. God, God bless. Thank, Thank you, Yair. At, At this time, we will we'll recognize our career and technology and education completers. Now, now coming to your front, front is Ms. Tisha William Tolliver, Assistant Principal. principal.
Good morning, class of 2023. It is my great honor and pleasure to recognize our CTT completers in this year's graduating class. These are students that, with the support of their teachers and families, are leaving high school both college and career ready. They have completed their chosen career pathway by taking and passing the necessary courses as outlined, as outlined by, by the South Carolina, South Carolina Department of Education. Education. The, the class, class of 2023 contains 131 CTT completers. Of those 131 completers, 16 have been, been able to gain the title of double completer by finishing two career pathways. At this time, I request that all of our CTT completers and our CTT instructors Please stand, Please stand and be recognized by our audience. audience. Mrs. Williams, Mrs. Mrs. Simmons, Simmons, ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen I, take I take great, great pride in presenting the Collington County High School class of 2023 candidates for graduation. Mrs. Williams, I present to you the distinguished graduating class of 2023. They have fulfilled all of their requirements for graduation and are entitled to all the rights and privileges associated with this honor. Mrs. Williams. On behalf of the Collington County Board of Education and upon verification of their principal, Mr. Cannon, I am very happy to accept this class as having satisfied all requirements 
of the Colleton County Board of Education and, and the State, State of South Carolina. Carolina. Congratulations. We will now prepare for the presentation of diplomas. We do ask that the, that the audience refrain from making excessive noise during the presentation of diplomas. Families and guests, I ask that, that you please help us honor all graduates by cheering for your, your child when his or her name is called. But, but then, quickly stopping, stopping in order, order for the child's name of the following graduate, graduate to, to be heard by their family, family members, just as, as you had, had the honor of hearing, hearing the name of your graduate. graduate. So, so all I'm asking, when we call we're their name, you cheer, grab you grab it, it, and let it go. And, let and, it go. <laughs> and allow, allow the, the next family, family the to honor of hearing the name, name of their graduate being called. called. Yeah, at, at this time, we take our place. I take pride in Yair Moctezuma Caudillo. <laughs> Hannah Grace Bunton. <laughs> Adriana Itzel Marin. Let me pull that mic down for you. I just didn't want to make noise bringing it down. Casey Meredith Crosby. Mary Banks High. Delaney Markel Buxton. Ashley Vanessa Perdomo. Dylan Matthew Hudson. Austin Michael Kittler. Andre Joshua Portal Jr. Gabriela Leah Green. Carly Ray Irwin. <laughs> Jolianne Vasquez. <laughs> Brianna Nicole Banks. Jaden Warren Isaiah Edwards. Grant Clayton Kilpatrick. Summer Elizabeth Ross. Veronica Brooke Antini. Elizabeth Jordan Slocum. Pelenato Rosen. Oh. Cade Morgan Salas. Oh. Jessica Hope Grinberg. Oh. Alexandria Lee Cook. Oh. Hayden Cole Lee. Melanie Christine Heatley. Peyton Onesimus Grant. Christopher Eric Sally. Colby Allen Lewis McCall. Oscar Casey Donnelly. <laughs> Ashlyn Hazel Sarvis. <laughs> Amy Janice 
Rosa. Kinsley Alexandria Reed. Victoria Hope Scheider. Jabari Anton Washington. Shauna Lynn Sherrill. Shakela Zakiria Aiken. John Allen, J Dedrick Allen the fourth. Star Love Allen. Serenity Unique Ankrum. To Shiloh Callie Bailey Middleton. Zoe Ayana Sydney Lynn Baker. William J Joshua Berno. Jalik M. Bellinger. Kennedy John Terry Bellinger. Tyasia Monet Ashanti Berry. Elizabeth Faith Ann Bishop. Harmony Aaliyah Savannah Black. Logan Daniel Blocker. Braylon Charles Bodison. Damar Tylee Bodison. Kaylee Rihanna Denasia Bodison. Caitlin Lenora Bodison. Marlon Gerard Boyd. Adam Boyd Jr. Julie May Braddock. DeAndre Miguel Breland. William Preston Breland. Acacia Javari Bright. Jaden Travell Bright. Zaire Douglas Bright. Anna Faith Gabriel Brown. Caleb. Caleb Zephaniah Brown. Jamar Darar Brown. Jania Naya Brown. Michaela Shanate Brown. Yasmin Taikira Brown. Stop me now. Darian Bynum. Stanley Neal Carden. Nikki Ranab Carnosota Perez. Kayla Rose Carasquillo. Deanera Nicole Carter. Ava Patricia Castleberry. Elicio Sendejas. Jewel Elizabeth Chambers. Michaela Chambriel Chisholm. Brianna Marie Klein. Tabria Lachey Michelle Collins. Zachary Isaiah Connor. Caleb Ryan Conover. Abigail Ray Corbett. Larry Council Jr. Leela Reese Cox. Brantley Charles Craven. 
Mm -hmm. Elena Brooke Creole. Nehemiah Ezekiel Creole. Kimari Nishé Crittington. Chloe Ann Crosby. Cohen Edward Crosby. Emmy Josie Crosby. William Dakota Collin. Kaylin Mariel Baquedano Davila. Autumn Grace Davis. Julia Joyce Garvin. Michael Cameron Zymir Davis. Christopher Hayden Deaver. Alexis Nicole DeLong. Tanner Aaron Dewitt. Ricartez. Antonio Dredden II. Taylor Marie Dye. China Rose Easterling. Marlesia LaQuay Ellis. Tyler Rebecca Everso. Jared Quentin Fair Jr. Jabari Tyrell Ferguson. Nigel. Nigel Lamar Ferguson. Sataj Shamad Ferguson. Jalen Tiana Fishburn. Jane Amani Ford. Kadarius Ford. Rodriguez Jermaine Frazier Jr. Madeline Nicole Fulmer. Robert Amar Gant. Tariq Takai Gant. Landon Terrell Garvin. Dwight Xavier Gathers Jr. Glenn Gathers III. Amira Sierra. Amira Sierra Glover. Gary Ortegas Golf II. Second. Daniel Gomez Perez. Shanara Ayana Sierra Grant. Michaela Sane Graves. Denisha Olivia Green. Derek Jerome Green. LaQuentin Tyleek Green. David Gutierrez Gomez. Morgan Russell Hall. Enrico Travell Harley Jr. Jaquez LaSalle Harrison. Kayla Michelle Harrison. Ramaya Laron Haynes. Kimberly Jeanette Hernandez Cienfuegos. Sarah Grace Hitchens. Thomas Philip Hollingsworth. Avery Caden Holt. Nikia. Nikia Latoya Hornsby. Kayla Marie Hudson. 
Jalen Jashawn Huggins. Jayana Mondrea Jackson. Edward Allen Jakes. Benay Leandra James. Lamont Jaquan James. Arnaud Janto. Addison McKinney Jenkins. Chad Taquan Jenkins. Kamaria Lanasia Devanya Jenkins. Malaysia Janelle Johns. Shania Monique Johnson. Madison Mackenzie Kelly. Zania Elasia Lachey Colder. Shade Shakira Lambert. Russell Blake Laughlin Jr. Tariana Shayana Nashea Lawton. Aaron Patrick Lemix. What's your name? Jonathan. Jonathan Franklin Lewis. Jonathan Franklin Lewis. Lauren Nicole Lewis. Cameron Jerome Elizabeth. Christopher G. Lopez. Catherine Jolette Lopez Marin. Maria Guadalupe Malpica Baez. Latavia Shamaya Monigo. Manigo. Traquan Jatavian Matthews. Jana Aliyah Matthews. Gina Alea Matthews. Tierra Loretta Rebecca Mays. Daryl Lamont McCarthy Jr. Gordesia Lakaya McClidden. Lauren Renee McKinney. Haley Elaine McMillan. Tamara Gail Michaela McVeigh. Elaine San Juan Mendez. Daniel Mac Michu. Austin Romeo Montague. Esmeralda Morales Flores. Angel Asael Morales Gonzalez. <laughs> Vanessa Morales Moran. Shania Amare Morgan. <laughs> Jalen Tarek Murray. Shamirka Tanasia Jatela Murray. Jemiah Shondell Meyer. Dejanay, go ahead. Dejanay Ramaya Neal. Caitlin Elizabeth Nelson Poirier. Brianna Alasia Nelson. Haley Nicole Nelson. Janicia Rihanna Alexandria Noonsetter. Krishana Nakiria Cora North. Just go, just go, just go. Maria Janet Puentes Ochoa. Michael De Luis Ortiz. Eva. Mm -hmm. Eva Marie Paget. Richard Clayton Paget, Amber Mayat Parker. 
Jayla Zion Parks. Mackenzie Deanera Pelham. Nasir Dupree Pansio. John Eric Perez. Travion Omari Pierce. Emily Mackenzie Pinckney. Nasir Latrell Pinckney. Shauna Mackenzie Pineda. James Christopher Poe. Troy James Qualls. Just tell me your name. James Thomas Reed. Haley Rose. Ritter, Michaela Sierra Rivers, Jada Kali Robinson, Emily Shay Roscoe, Walter Tyler Salisbury, Jaden Tyshawn Sally, William Tyler Sykes, Xavier Jermaine Reed Seabrook. Mackenzie. Mackenzie May Siegler. Brooke Catherine Shaw. Shalice Nikeria Simmons. Karma Sarah Simmons. Shinari. Shanari Nicole Simpson. Gabrielle Lucas Maxi Smith. Olivia Lakiria Smith. Julian Lee Snellgrove. Again. Leslish Elena Sosa Perez. Dorian Nicholas Stevens. Jaquez Antonio Stevens. Shania Fantasia Victoria Stevens. Traquan Benjamin Stokes. Yesabel Yasida Stout. Evan Michael Strobel. Julian Christopher Browden Stewart. Nicole Emmeline Sweatman. Malia Janae Terry. Gabriel Michael Thomas. Mac Raymond Thomas. Lily Delena Thompson. Marissa Janaya Thompson. Isabel Brooke Tittle. Devin Zachary Valentine. Terry Ann Vanessa Walker. Pippa Marie Walling. Destiny Michaela Washington. Jamari Malik Washington. Who's this? Kanitra Joy Washington. Mercedes Aliyah Washington. 
Paris Abina Erica Washington. Zion Jamir White. Janasia Janjira White. <clears throat> Kevin Christopher White Jr. Anaya Marie Williams. Anasia Latte Williams. Sanaya Marie Williams. Malachi Isaiah Williams. Reggie Lamont Williams Jr. Tyrone Ellis Wilson Jr. Jaden Tyrell Winfield. Thaddeus Gabriel Wolf. Tim and Tim Wright. Kenji Kenyetti Yakes Jr. Zaccanini. Jesse Parker Zaccanini. Dante McCray. Dante McCray Brown. Lavandre Talik Edwards. All that junk me, I guess, huh? I don't think we were loud enough. Let's give it up for the class of 2023. If you know me by now, you know that at the end of each graduation, I like to share a story or some encouraging words for our graduates. And I refer to this as the launch, an opportunity for you to launch into your future. I share this as an opportunity, hoping that these words at a certain time in your life moving forward will stick with you. I respectfully ask and want to inform all of our guests that the ceremony is not over. So if you are exiting, I ask that you do so without again making excessive noise. Thank you. To our graduates, as a part of your launch today, I would just like to leave a few words with you about three minutes. Give me about three minutes. If you remember geography, and as you studied geography of the United States, we all know that there, there are 50 states in the United States of America. Would you agree? Yes. But what if I told you that there is a 51st state? And I'm not talking about the territories. I'm not talking about Washington, D.C. What if I told you that this 51st state is really a paradoxical situation? It sounds quite absurd, what I'm about to say, that you are in South Carolina right now, Colleton County, South Carolina. But some of you are secondly also in this 51st state. Yes, you are here in South Carolina, 
but some of you are also presently in the 51st state. You see, the 51st state is not necessarily a physical place, but the 51st state is a state of mental placement. That 51st state, unfortunately for some of us, is the state of denial. D-E-N-I-A-L, denial. That 51st state, unfortunately, is a place where some of us may vacation, some of us may stay for a brief moment, but some of us may have set up permanent residency in the state of denial. And I would like for you to think about this and consider this just for a moment, because if you find yourself living in this 51st state, I would advise you to pack your bags and try your best to leave that 51st state as soon as you can. Because that acronym for denial, D-E-N-I-A-L, denial, don't even know I am lying. That 51st self, don't even know I am lying is a part of that 51st state. And that 51st state of don't even know I am lying, most times it means that you don't know that you're lying to yourself. Let me give you this as an example. Earlier this year, we started our security screenings. There was violence all across the United States striking schools at an alarming rate. We even experienced some violence here in our community that we wanted to prevent people from being subjected to that violence when they enter College County High School. As a part of our security screening, you know that you had to move through a security checkpoint every morning. We heard from a lot of parents saying that their children were being late to class as a result of the security checkpoint. While I know when we implement something new, there can be some challenges and some difficulties, but the number of people who are claiming that they were being targeted to class as a result of the checkpoint caused me to be very, very concerned. So as a result, I did a little research, and I realized that majority of the students coming from the bus side were not students identified as being tardy to class. I went to the car rider side and realized that the majority of the students who were actual car riders getting out of a car and coming into the building were not the majority of the students who were being late to class. The majority of the students who were being late to class and claimed that it was because of the security checkpoint were students who were driving to school themselves. So I went back and I pulled the video camera over a period of time. And what we realized over the video camera after getting cussed out by your parents, after being told off that it's our fault that we were making you late the first block, not your fault, when I went back to the video camera, what we realized that yes, you were getting to campus on time, but so many of you, although you got to campus on time, were spending more time in the parking lot than getting out your cars, coming inside the school building, coming into school during a reasonable amount of time, and you could have still made the class on time. Am I lying? Am I lying? But you told the story to your parents, and they were quick to call and blame us. Denial. Don't even know I am lying to myself. Let's not focus on the car rider situation. Let's not even focus on that particular issue. What I would like for you to take from this situation is because you guys were a COVID class. A lot of grace and patience and forgiveness and opportunity was afforded to you during the time of COVID. We extended time for you to turn and work. We gave you excuses when you would not log in and log on. But I want you to know that the time of COVID understanding and patient and opportunity has come to an end in these United States of America. When you go on your job, when you have to pay your bill, when you have to provide for somebody else, no one is gonna give you a COVID wave or a COVID pass 
and allow you a second chance and a second opportunity. You late to class like you were late to school, you may get fired. If you are not present on your job, that you're not able to earn the finances that you need to take care of your family, someone who's dependent on you may struggle. So I would like for you to know and understand, you don't have to stay in the state of denial. I want you to understand, as you're about to go off to college, I like what Yair said, I like what Hannah said, I want you to remember that you don't have to stay in the same situation just because that's the way you started off. Some of you are gonna to go to college and you're gonna start a major. You're not gonna particularly like that major. You're not gonna like what you study. Don't stay in a state of denial and lie to yourself as if that's something that you wanna do. You waste your money, you waste your time. Change what you need to change early and make a decision for yourself in your life. Some of you are gonna be on a job that you don't particularly like the people, you don't like the situation, you don't like the work that you do. Don't stay in that job for a long time. We prepared you as graduates to have options, to choose to do something for yourself. Don't stay in a state of denial. Some of you will be in relationships that may start off good, sweet, and everything is the honeymoon, and soon it may turn on you. It may become a physically or mentally abusive relationship. Don't lie to yourself thinking that you have to stay in that situation because you do not. We have prepared you to have options in your life and don't you ever feel as if you have to lie to yourself and deal with situations that are not providing you with what you know the Almighty have prepared for you. Life should be filled with joy, happiness, and peace in your life. And one thing that I remember saying at a classmate's Del Delane Forest home going, the joy that you have, this world did not give it, and this joy the world cannot, what? Take it away. Somebody know what I'm talking about. So graduates, from this day forward, I always want you to remember that there is no obstacle to the success of a Colleton County High School graduate. Your goals are to transcend, conquer, and leave nothing to be desired. Go Cougars! Give it up for the class of 2023. The turning of the tassel ceremony will now be presented by Casey Crosby, our student class president. Please come forward at this time. Congratulations, class of 2023. It is now the time that we have all been waiting for, the turning of the tassels. We, please stand. We turn the tassels from the right, which symbolizes our time as high school students, to the left, which symbolizes that we are moving to newer and greater things. We now together, as a class, take this step into our futures that we are officially becoming alumni of Carlton County High School. You may now turn your tassels from the right to the left. Congratulations, class of 2023! We now have the alma mater and benediction. You will find the alma mater within your programs. Please join along as we sing the school song. Here's to you, our alma mater.
Mary Banks High, our student body president, will lead us in today's benediction. Everyone, please bow your heads. Dear Lord, as we gather here today for what has been, has been our greatest accomplishment to date, we ask that you place your almighty hand upon each and every graduate as we enter the next chapter in our lives. We pray that we have the courage and the motivation to face what life has in store for us. We pray that you continue to guide us down the right path. We pray that no matter the trials and tribulations, we're here graduating today. We pray that we hold these four years within these walls close to our hearts and that we never forget what we have learned here at CCHS. In your name we pray, amen. amen. Thank you. Graduates, please turn facing the way in which you will exit. Graduates, you will wait for us to leave out and then you will march after us. <laughs> 